Good morning, I'm Debbie from So So Easy and today we're going to practice putting in an invisible zipper. So I've assembled some equipment that we're going to need. I've cut a couple of rectangles of fabric with some uh, nice straight edges. I have my invisible zipper, uh, some pins and my fabric shears and a couple of zipper feet. The first one we need is the actual invisible zipper foot itself. This will normally have grooves on the underside, just here, where the coils of your zipper will run through while you're stitching. And you'll also either need a, a regular zipper foot or one of these adjustable zipper feet. And we'll come on to why you're going to use that one later on. So first of all, to get started, I need to press the fabric pieces. Now do check the pattern to see what allowance you need. My seam allowance is a standard 5 eighths of an inch so I'm going to temporarily place a crease 5 eighths of an inch down each side of the fabric. Now my zipper is a, a certain length but I'm also going to crease um, 2 or 3 inches below the length of my zipper. I'll be back in a moment. So now I have my fabric creased and along the seam allowance I've got a crease here and here on the fabric. And sometimes it can be difficult to decide which way up your zipper and your fabric need to go when sewing an invisible zipper. So I found this is the easiest way to do it. I've lined my fabric up with the wrong sides up so the seam allowance is on the inside here. And I've opened my zip and I've placed it face up so the zipper pull is facing me. And then if I take this side of the fabric open it up and move it all the way across to the opposite side of the zip and turn back. This is how I need to sew the zip in place. So let's start with some pinning. So now to pin the zipper I'm going to start with the edge of the tape level up at the top of the fabric just here and I'm lining up the zipper coils with the crease that I placed in the fabric when I ironed it earlier. And now I'll just add a few pins into place to hold the zipper reasonably in place while we sew. And I do find that sometimes invisible zippers can move around quite a little bit while you sew them, but it doesn't matter so much as it might do in, um, in a more visible zipper. So let's just pin that in place. Okay, that's nice and flat. And now let's take it to the machine. So now I've taken the fabric and zipper to the machine. Now obviously as you can see I'm using um, contrast in fabric, a contrast in zipper and I'm also going to use a contrast in thread. But when you would sew your own you would sew them all in a, a similar colour. So I've set up the zipper foot on the machine and I've set the coil of the zipper under the left hand um, ridge in the zipper foot which you can just see just there and I'm going to run down keeping the coil of the zipper in that groove and the stitch will come through from the top let's have a look if I can put that down there there we go that will go through the top of the zipper foot here I'm setting a standard two and a half uh, stitch size okay everything's set up and ready my needle's down the zipper is in place under the left hand side of the zipper foot there and let's start with our stitching. Once we've started I'll do a few back stitches to secure and then we'll slow, sew nice and slowly down the edge of those coils. As I get to the bottom, I'm just going to hold the zipper in place so that the coils are next to that crease that we pressed in earlier and I'll sew all the way until my zipper foot hits at the bottom and I can't go anymore. A couple of back stitches 
and we're done. So the first side of our zipper is now completed and that's hidden behind here. But we do want to trim any threads and just check at this point that the zipper zips up and down okay. Make sure that nothing has been caught in those zipper teeth. And then we're ready to start for our second side. So let's make sure we know which way we're going to sew. And the fabric has the crease in on this side. So that is going to go on this side of the zipper just here to match up. So let's turn over and pin. We'll match up the top of the zipper tape with the top of the fabric. And we'll match up the edge of these zipper coils along with the, um, the crease that we put in on our seam line just earlier. A few pins to hold it in place. And we're good to take it back to the machine. So now we're going to use the other side of the zipper foot. So I have my coil this time and the right hand groove of my zipper foot. Let's manually turn the needle down to start. Okay, a couple of stitches and then back stitch. And we'll slowly sew down this seam. Again, when I get to the bottom, I'm just going to fold everything neatly, make sure the coils of the zipper are nice, neatly in line with the line that I pressed earlier, and then I'll sew all the way to the bottom. Okay, I've not quite undone my zipper enough. There we go. Once I'm at the bottom, a couple of back stitches to secure. So my zipper is now in place. I'm just going to glue it up, undo it. All the threads are snipped, just want to make sure nothing is catching. And check along here, and yes we really do have a very nice and visible finish. However, the, the bottom of our garment or even our, our test piece just here is still undone. So we need to now finish this area, finish this seam underneath the zip. And for this one, we're gonna need the adjustable zipper foot. So I already have that in place on my machine. So let's start pinning underneath here. So when we pressed the creases in earlier, we pressed the creases for a few e inches underneath the zipper and this is now going to become useful. So if we pull the end of the zipper tape out of the way, you can see the two creases here on each side of the fabric and I'm going to line those two lines up there to make sure I get the correct seam allowance. And if I flip this one up, we're now going to pin along this line just here. We also need to take a special care around the bottom of the tape because we want a nice smooth finish at the bottom of the zipper. So I'm going to just pull that out of the way and make sure I put an extra pin in just here to hold the fabric together. Okay, let's take that to the machine. Now I have my adjustable zipper foot in place and just here I can see the stitches at the bottom of the zipper and the few back stitches that I did from before. So I'm just going to make sure 
that when I put my needle down and my presser foot down, just there, that I'm going to overlap those stitches just a little bit. So let me put my needle in place, make sure I'm happy, pull my zipper tape up out of the way just here and hold all of this fabric nice and flat and I'm just going to start with a couple of slow stitches okay and back stitch and now if I remove my pins as I go I can follow down here and continue on with my hem my seam allowance all the way to the bottom open that out and take a look. So the invisible zipper is now down the back here and the seam is now closed. The next step would be to take your iron, just lift up this tape here and press along this seam so that you get a nice open finish just there. And you can also lightly press along the other side. Be careful obviously not to melt the teeth on your invisible zipper because it is plastic so do be careful if you're going to just steam over the top of here and then you can enjoy a lovely invisible zipper down the back of your skirt or dress. Thank you very much for joining me. It's Debbie at So So Easy and I've really enjoyed bringing you this invisible zipper tutorial today. Remember that uh, this, this doesn't always come easy first time and so we are using a practice piece here and you may need to practice several times just to make, things, make sure things are going to be really perfect before you go ahead and insert your zipper into your finished garment. Thank you for watching.